everyone. Welcome to the Preschool Nature Series. I'm Hannah. And I'm Kayla. And we're going to learn about caterpillars today. So what exactly is a caterpillar anyway? These wiggly little animals are actually baby butterflies and moths. What? They don't look like butterflies or moths to me. I mean, where are their wings? Caterpillars don't have them yet. They have to transform. They spend their whole time when they look like this, eating lots and lots and lots of food. Then they do something really special. What's that? They turn into butterflies or moths. A caterpillar eats until it can barely move. It's so full. Then it makes a chrysalis or a cocoon if it's a moth. After a long wait and a big change called metamorphosis, out it comes with a whole new look. You're telling me that this turns into this? Exactly. Caterpillars are moths and butterflies just before the big change, the metamorphosis. They start as an egg and then become a caterpillar and then, and then become a chrysalis and then they become a butterfly. Caterpillars are special critters. But my question is, how do they keep themselves safe? I mean, they don't have wings and they're so squishy. Wouldn't they get eaten by a bird or a bug? Good question. Caterpillars come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. What they look like helps keep them from becoming someone else's snack. For example, some caterpillars are able to blend into their environment. They use greens and browns and whites to look like nature. Oh, like camouflage. Yep, it's hard for a predator to eat a caterpillar it can't find. What do you think of my camouflage? Can you even see me? Nope, not at yes. all. Yeah. On the other hand, some caterpillars want to be seen. They're usually toxic, so they put on bright color to let everyone know that they do not taste very good. Yes, absolutely. Some caterpillars are toxic, so when predators put on bright colors, they just want to leave the caterpillar alone. What a neat trait. Finally, some caterpillars are covered in fuzz. Aww, that's adorable. But wait, how is this useful? It, I just look like I want a big hug. I wouldn't touch fuzzy caterpillar if I were you. Those fuzzy hairs can cause skin rashes or even worse in anything that tries to mess with the caterpillar. Fuzz may be itchy, toxic, or laced with prickly spines. Wow, so this fuzz is actually really important. Now that we've learned a bit more about caterpillars, it's time to make your very own caterpillar. Me and Hannah are going to have a crafting competition. You should definitely join us. Just follow the instructions in your kit. Alrighty, Kayla. Are you ready to show off the caterpillar for the caterpillar parade? Absolutely. This is my caterpillar. I use bright neon colors because my caterpillar is toxic and it wants to let everybody know. And then I made a fuzzy caterpillar. I used blue and green because I really like those colors. And I gave it purple antenna because I thought that might be really fun. My caterpillar is hiding in camouflage colors. I use green and yellow like plants. And my fuzzy caterpillar, I use purple and green. Do you think you can build your own caterpillar? Remember, camouflage, bright colors, or super fuzzy. The choice is yours. Thanks for joining us today. We can't wait to see your caterpillar creations.